You've got some skills in the kitchen. Tell us what's going on here, Chef Gerald. Well, we're starting the Boudreaux sauce, and I'm about to, to begin right here. I'm going to turn this up a little bit, and we're going to start blackening the uh, mahi for the mahi Boudreaux. We start with a Gulf mahi. Mm -hmm. We use our own That's Good Yeah blackening spice that we developed ourselves. That stuff and, is uh, legit. I've yes, got some sir. at the house. You've got to check it out. I'm going to season this up real quick for your viewers. I wanted to tell them when you season this, season the skin side. This right here is what you can see with the bones, whereas the bone side, you want to cook the skin side and just oh. give a and just give a, a, a fairly liberal little coating, huh. rub, rub it in, and come right over here with your hot oil in your pan. So you don't do both sides, you only do only, it on, on only one side. I only do one side. Huh. If, you, if you do both sides, it, it, it tends to get a little too spicy, and we, mm. want, we want it to be flavorful, but not too hot. So, All right, I got you. Um, we have, we started the sauce right here. All I put right here is my uh, butter, and I'll put the bell pepper and the onions, and right now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some of the seasonings and garlic and things like that to get it going. So. Hey man, it is smelling but, uh, so good in here. So well, we you. wanted to tell the folks at home about something pretty impressive, Chef Gerald. Tell them what's going on with this well, award we you were, guys just won. We were very fortunate that Red Book Magazine in conjunction with Yelp yep. rated the top the top seafood restaurant in every state in the union. Okay. And uh, unbeknownst to us, we found out from one of our customers that we were named the number one seafood restaurant in the entire state of Alabama. Y'all, we number so one in the that. state. That number is one in the awesome. state. And one of the great things too about Yelp is it's based on people's reviews. It's not as subjective because they tally review after review after review. Yeah. And when those add up, you guys That's are in right. the top spot. That's incredible. That's right. We are a solid 4.9 on Yelp, Facebook, we're 5.0 on TripAdvisor. We're, uh, uh, we've, we've been very fortunate that our customers have taken the time to get out there and, and, and give us the reviews and, and, and give us the accolades. So we're, we work hard. We have a great staff at the restaurant. My wife and I are very proud of it. all they have done to help us. We certainly can't do it by ourselves. And I can attest to that. I had a chance to check you guys out recently because I was over in the Robertsdale area. And man, it, we had such a great time. My kids loved it. My wife loved it. I loved it as always. But I knew that from your time here on the show. <laughs> so we were so grateful to go check it out and try all this good food. Now tell me a little bit about this dish. Is this one of your favorite dishes that you guys do? Uh, this is a very popular dish for us. Anything we do with this Boudreaux sauce is, is very popular. <laughs> Um, but uh, but this right here we, we developed um, uh, several years ago. We just blackened the, the mahi and cover it. This is the, the finished dish right here. Man. We cover it with that shrimp and crawfish cream sauce. We do this on several different dishes as well. But um, this particular one is one of the most popular items on my, on my menu. Boudin balls in the house? Fried boudin balls. We, uh, that is an old staple. Since we opened the restaurant over five years ago, <laughs> it's my natural <laughs> recipe. Um, it's an old popular. staple here on Studio 10, too, because <laughs> throughout the show, as we take more and more shots of the boudin balls, I think that's one of, there, think that's there's, one of Joe's there's less and less boudin balls <laughs> on the plate. Kendra, I, I think you said you were hungry, too, right? You want to come check some of these out? They're good. Yes. Um, so just Absolutely. please leave me a couple. Mm -hmm. Just a couple. <laughs> And we'll try to save you some. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to Studio 10 and happy Monday. I'm a very happy camper on this Monday All because right. we are about to eat Cajun food, which is one of my favorites. Well, and we're talking good. about a certain cream sauce. And if you put well, sauce on anything, cheese and some type of cream sauce, I'm happy. Yeah. Well, we were in the last segment, I was in the starting of it. I've added the shrimp and the crawfish mm -hmm. and a little bit of flour. The whole recipe is on fox10tv.com. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and add the heavy cream and get that kind of About how much should in. you add? Um, for this recipe, um, I believe it calls for about a cup, cup and a half on the recipe. You just kind of eyeball I kinda, it? I kind of eyeball <laughs> it. We're going to turn the flame up on this in just a second. Okay. And we're going to let that reduce. And once it once it reduces, um, it'll kind of thicken on its own. Gotcha. And you'll kind of be able to tell when it's nice and creamy. This is the fish we cooked in the last segment right there. And I just wanted to show that the, 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 done. The, yeah, the, the, the fish is ready. We're going to plate it right here on the last segment, put the sauce over it, and we'll be good to go. See, okay, so. for the people who are like me, I'm very nervous when it comes to cooking fish because I feel like it's such a delicate process. Like with chicken, well, you can, you know. Well, let me show you. you just When we, we put it on the last segment right mm -hmm. here, if you look at it, if you just take your finger, you see how you push and it flakes apart? Right. When it flakes a little bit, especially this type of fish, a mahi or a cobia mm -hmm. or... or um, 
even a catfish and grouper. If it, when you kind of touch it to the touch and it, it's soft and it flakes apart, it's okay. cooked. Okay, okay. So the touch fish, test. Fish now we know. Very, fish cooks very quick. You don't want to overcook it; it'll dry out on you really. Yes, nice. and I've done that once or twice, <laughs> but it's okay. Moving yeah. back to this sauce. Now you call this the Boudreaux sauce. We call this Boudreaux shrimp and crawfish cream sauce. Love Just a little it. concoction we came up with a few years ago. We have a dish we call Boudreaux's burrito at the restaurant mm -hmm. that we put this over, which is a shrimp, crawfish, and crab meat stuffed deep fried burrito. Yes. Um, basically, that we that we put the sauce over. That's probably about um, what, 20 calories in there? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. That, I think more like 80. Give or take. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we have several fried fish dishes that we use with red snapper, uh, trigger fish. We put the same sauce over. We call it uh, like trigger fish poncho train. So we yeah. use this sauce on several different dishes. Do you have a pasta so, with this sauce? Because that's um, what I'm thinking. We of. do have a pasta. We change the sauce just ever so slightly. Okay. We toss it with a penne pasta. Then mm. we call it Raging Cajun Seafood Pasta. Now that's primarily for our catering dishes and gotcha. it's not a menu item. We do a lot of catering, especially this time of year. Yes. We do an awful lot of catering uh, from weddings to Christmas parties holiday to business parties, functions, holiday things, just you name it. Right now we're inundated in, in catering. I love it. So. And this is, you know, putting a different twist. You don't always want the same cookie cutter recipes that's right, and that's right. catering meals. So this, if I walked into our holiday party yeah. and saw this, trust me, I would well, stay Well, we forever. change up at the restaurant a lot too. Mm -hmm. on, my, on my lunch board, I have four, four items on the lunch board every day that are not on the menu. Nice. At, at Nighttime, we have three items we call them tonight chef specialties. Yay. And that's three different concoctions that we come up with that are not on the menu as well, that we change it up constantly. We gotta keep it fresh, gotta keep it funky. That's right. I love that's it. Okay, so there's still too many boudin balls on this plate. I'm probably we'll gonna to eat a couple as we toss yeah. it over to Michael and Joe to talk a little bit more about what to expect. I, to I was just gonna say uh, also our full menu, full and menu. Our hours and everything else on our website, that's good, yeah, dot com. D A T S that's good, good yeah. yeah, dot com. Yes, okay, well, we are not done here in this kitchen. My eyes are just going over this way. All and we're right. going to turn the camera Help over that way. Help yourself with some more than Chef Gerald, thanks for coming. I did not eat breakfast this morning, so we got more boudin We can see our boudin you. ball plate is in half <laughs> now, which is which is fantastic because it's so good. Tell the folks what you're working on right here. Well, the, the last segment we added the heavy cream, and I just wanted to show the viewers what we did with this, the, the kind of the consistency that Look you're looking that for, creamy. nice and Goodness. thick. And once it's ready, you just take it right here and you ladle it right over your fish. I like to do it leaving some of the the, the pretty of the blackened fish out. You grab a little bit of green onions and bada bing. Put your little garlic bread, a little salad. <laughs> uh huh. You're there. That's now, why we say that's good, yeah. That's good, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's good, yeah, bro. <laughs> when, when you're in the restaurant, do you say bada bing when you put the stuff on it too? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> you never know. We have fun <laughs> in the kitchen. Me and the guys have a great time. <laughs> that's awesome. And speaking of a family-owned business, you guys have been doing great. Uh, if you miss it at the start of the show, you just got a huge award. Tell the folks about that. Uh, well, once again, I'd love to remind we were, we were named the number one seafood restaurant in the entire state of Alabama number by one Red in Book the Magazine state. and Yelp in conjunction together. They did a rating of the top seafood restaurant in every state in the union and yeah. Cafe Acadiana was named number one seafood restaurant in the entire state. We were so proud and we so thank all of our customers for their continued support, loyalty, and taking the time to give us those reviews online, which is the criteria used to give those types of awards. Guys, so if we're you, very proud. If you are in Baldwin County or want to plan a trip, you guys need to check out Cafe Acadiana. You will not be disappointed. Such a great experience. This is so good. Remind the folks what's in this sauce here before. Uh, we go. This is a shrimp and crawfish cream sauce, yeah. and, uh, along with with uh, all of the different seasonings right here: bell pepper, onions, those type of things. And the re full recipe is on Fox10TV.com. Let me see. So when I went there, I got um, it was served in a bowl. It was like uh, crab meat with like cheese. That what? is the uh, lump crab meat au gratin that you oh, had. That is also man. an immensely popular dish for us. Our lump crab meat au gratin is very popular. That was insanely so. good. <laughs> I, I was eating it, and my wife had her own thing, and she she loved it. But she's like, I need to eat some of that too. I'm like, absolutely. <laughs> uh, you, got, you can't say no. <laughs> you can't say no, guys. Check it out. All the things Cafe Acadiana has to offer. The number one seafood restaurant in the state of Alabama. In little, let that, in little old Silver Hill. Little Silver Hill. I'm going to let that cool for a second, and then I'm going to eat that too, along with the boudin balls, Kendra. <laughs>